What's up guys, welcome back to Flipping the Script Fishing. The early spring and late winter months can be the best times of the year to catch a big bass. But it's also one of the worst times of the year for volatile weather. Rest assured, just before that trip you got planned to take advantage of those big females, a rainstorm is going to come through, raise that water level, and make it dirty as chocolate milk. It never fails. Nevertheless, you can still have some success. Here are some strategies and techniques I use. First, focus your efforts on migration routes and pinch points. Remember, these bass want to spawn, so they're making their way back to these types of areas. Piece of the puzzle, we gotta put them together. Bridges that lead into spawning flats are great pinch points and also offer lots of structure like riprap and bridge piling and are typically near some deep water areas and are known for holding some big bass. Similarly, culverts can have some of the same characteristics but are smaller and more easily picked apart but can offer good concentrations of fish, especially if there's current moving through it. Channel swings can also be good places to target. You get good points, depth change, and if there's any structure on those points, check those out. Mouths of creeks can be absolutely loaded with bass. Make sure to follow them back also, because any structure leading back to those spawning flats can hold fish as well. Converging main lake points can make these saddles that can have large concentrations of fish and can be fast action. Make sure to check these out. Remember to be aware of where the creek channel leads through these spawning coves. Those are the places to target, offering good depth changes, structure, and hard bottom. Good ambush points for passing by prey as they feed up and get ready to spawn. With high dirty water, I like to throw loud crankbaits or spinnerbaits or chatterbaits, something that will send off a pulse or a thump or a rattle of some sort to attract the attention of these fish. It also helps me to fish more efficiently and quickly narrow down places that have fish and areas that do not. Anytime you encounter structure on these pinch point areas, make sure to fish them thoroughly. Throw a jig in there, a shaky head, or hit it with several angles of your crankbait, spinnerbait, or chatterbait. Chick magnet. Just bought this little guy not too long ago. First keeper of the day. I'll take it. All right. But, uh, when you're throwing a uh, crankbait like this, okay, this is four laydowns and this is for uh, going through stuff like that. So you want a little bit heavier rod, a little bit stronger line. So do a little pre spawn technique.
was a fish. <laughs> uh, get a good hook in him. Get the net ready. Unfortunately, after trying several different crankbaits, we couldn't get a good consistent bite. So I decided to switch up my tactics. Oftentimes, when that water comes up and is dirty, they will pull tight to cover, but stay shallow. And oftentimes, they'll hold tight to isolated pieces of wood structure. When this is the case, throwing a little jig in there, a worm, or in this case, a flippy doodad, can often get you strikes. Gets it to the boat. Old flippy do dad, little guy. Babies, any bigger ones? Mm -hmm. Doesn't show you how many are sitting on those sticks. Oh, there's a big one on one of them. Oops. Flipping into lay downs this time. Down the babies. Make sure to keep your eyes peeled to try and spot any isolated wood that's not obvious to anybody else. That's where bigger bites could come from. <clears throat>
Obviously this day we didn't light the world on fire. We caught fish, but we're lacking in size. But we had a good pattern going, and this same pattern, given the day, could yield big fish in the exact same spots that we caught these little ones in. But it is a pattern that will keep bending your rod and eventually put a bigger fish in the boat. go. Come on, big keeper. Flippity doo dad. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Just a tick and then he started swimming. As the day wore on, we tried multiple different techniques in order to try to get a bigger bite. We tried combing main lake flats with spinner baits, lipless crank baits, swim baits, and other type of moving lures in order to try to get that reaction. Unfortunately, the fish just weren't having it. Make no mistake, when the weather gets weird, the fishing can get very tough. They just seem to disappear sometimes, so don't get down on yourself. Try some of the techniques shown earlier in this video. Focus on pinch points and isolated structure on those pinch points, and you can get yourself some bites. Start your search with more efficient moving baits, ones that are more aggressive, so eventually you can run across some of these aggressive fish. As you come across that isolated structure, pick it apart with a slower moving lure, and maybe you can put some of the pieces of the puzzle together, and then focus a better pattern. I hope these tips help you out, and don't let the weather ruin your fishing trips. Until next time, tight lines.